know, sadly, the match has degenerated into the colour show. Mm. And great cricket, give it, uh, give it that. Um, but as Sanjay says, let's take a step back from that. There is a test match on the go and there is a series to win, albeit a two-match series. And I don't get the impression that South Africa are interested in that. Perhaps they know that it's going to rain tomorrow. It may not. Uh, if you look at the, uh, the way that we possibly, all the permutations that we could get to where a result is on the cards, South Africa would probably need to score 350 runs tomorrow. Um, that requires you know, them to do it, not to lose wickets, to score fairly quickly, try and bowl India out. If we lose play, where does that then take us to? Well, now I don't think it's Dhoni's um, responsibility to push the game in that direction. It is South Africa's at this stage. And what we've seen in the last hour and a half, as the two instances you mentioned, I don't get the impression that that's on their mind at all. I must confess I've been surprised by the attitude of the South African team right from Wanderers, you know, where you know we talked about them being flat in the field when they were out there bowling. But this match, when you look at uh, South Africa's partnerships, I mean, what's an excuse for Carlos Dumini to have a run rate of 1.97? I can understand Dumini, young guy trying to establish himself in this team, doesn't have big scores behind him. But this partnership is not telling you of a team that's uh, wanting to call the shots and they missed a chance in the first test. We want to win the second one. There's going to be a weather issue, so we've got to make everything happen a little quicker. I, I'll come to the defence of Dumini purely because um, he's not a man who's been informed. He needs a good score under his belt and uh, we, we touched upon it, didn't we, that he was looking a bit too defensive and it was a matter of time before one Jareja delivery would get him and that happened. But Rohit Sharma bowling, you know, so many balls and a run rate of 1.58. Rohit Sharma is a part-time bowler and you had, you know, one set batsman out there. Dumini also had spent some time in the middle. So yes, I mean, you try to think from all angles, but you can't really come up with a logical explanation. Maybe, you know, in the press conference today, you might have their management telling us about what happened in that last session. Maybe they might give us a clue as to what was going on. Yeah, one thing which was always uh, shared by a few bowlers that uh, played against South Africa, they always felt, and it was mentioned whether it was in the previous test match or during this test match by me, that they never felt Callis would hurt them. They felt they could bowl at Callis. There were more dangerous players around him. And one of the things always asked, and I'm going to say I've always asked it about Jock Callis's cricket, and today is an example where a moment to, to seize, to take the game somewhere, to you know, stamp his authority on the game. That's why there's always going to be question marks about where he fits into uh, the bigger picture of who the great cricketers, the great all-rounders are, and the ability to change matches, impact on it, um, to make a difference, to take the bull by the horns and do the unexpected and, and you know, enthrall us with their brilliance in... in in seizing that sort of moment.